friends. I have moved rooms once again, relocated. I'm in my sister's room again for a little while until we can find our own place. But for now, we have got the persistent personal, local, whatever you want to call it, inventory uh, for the first time. Finally, we're going to get to actually see some details on it. I have a feeling this is going to ruffle a lot of feathers and uh, this is going to be an interesting episode. Let's see what they have to say about it. Me again. It's time for part two of Alpha 315 Changes Everything. This week, the team it is does. back to talk inventory and finally put all those globals and locals and vehicles and externals and personals into context with one another as they set the table for a truly physicalized universe coming down the line. Healing or introducing like the next big step towards death of a spaceman. That's not now supposed to happen. Introducing <laughs> the first huge leap towards the physicalized inventory. This first it's personal big step towards it's inner death thought. of a spaceman. Is this a menu? Is this, this is a 3D, they're doing a 3D camera. It looks like it's actually a camera view of your character in real time. Uh, I don't know about that. Now we're introducing the first huge leap towards the physicalized inventory. This is really Drag a big milestone for inventory in general. Drag and drop. The move towards physicalized inventory uh, is really an attempt to make players think and make choices. This is the loop where you have to decide what I take with me is the stuff that I have access to me. And those choices should be reflecting players' gameplay choices, their styles. In the creative manner will mean that when you get emergent roles in the groups, people bringing all the healing with them because the other guys... Okay, so... This is, wait, what the heck is that? Oh, okay, that's a I'm clip, it's a magazine. All right, so this is, this is your inventory system when you're in a landing zone. So you have access to your backpack, which is everything that's in your literal backpack. You can detach that from armors now. You have the actual armor, the stuff that's on your armor. I'm guessing that's like weapons, med pens, that kind of stuff. And then you have everything that's in the landing zone. So you can access, this is the local inventory. I don't think this is permanent. I think this is a stopgap. But right now you can access the whole landing zone as long as you're there. I have all the ammo. I don't know about your ship kind of though. Thing. So that there are so many different aspects involved in- Probably your asset manager for your restricting ship. Restricting things that it's involved in restricting things that encourage communication and you know cooperation that change the way that you play the game and ultimately uh, drastically impact experience. So if you've played Star Citizen, and I hope you have, then you'll be familiar with the global inventory. Little You're PMA. able to access anything you want at any location. You could be carrying you know, a whale in your backpack. And we don't want that. That is being nuked with prejudice. So from now on, you won't have access to the PMA. You will still have access to the VMA for all of your ships and your ship items and equipment, but anything related to your character will be in the local inventory. Local inventory is the largest space that you have access to. It's not infinite, but it will be the largest space that you have access to. And that is tied to what you'd imagine, the location that you're in. So let's take, for example, Port Alisar. Whilst I'm on the station, I can access Port Alisar and everything that I've stored within the location inventory. Uh, as soon as I leave the station and fly off, I can no longer access that, those uh, items. So when you open up your inventory, you'll be able to just press I or go through it, the person in a thought, and open up your inventory and you'll see, okay, there's all of the, the, the gear on my character. And then you'll have another kind of window on the other side, which bad. will show all of your local inventory. That's gonna make you consider, what am I gonna take with me from this location? It's a little hard to tell what that is, but. It's also introducing the concept of, oh, I want certain things in these locations, so I now have to move them there. I have to physically go there to put them in those locations. A little laggy, huh, guys? Another key aspect of local inventory, uh, which you now set for the very first time that you sign in, uh, is your home location. That home residence has two purposes. One, it becomes your regeneration point, your default regeneration point, whether the hospital or the nearest hospital nearby. And the other thing is that it becomes your default home location for all of your gear, equipment, subscriber flares, vehicles, everything that you own will be deposited at this location. 
So we've touched mm, on infinite the loading screen. scale inventory that we have, <laughs> the location inventory. Uh, the next one down um, is a vehicle inventory. And that marries an inventory container with a ship interior. In the same way that you have to be uh, location in order to access your location inventory, you have to be inside nice your ship to access your vehicle inventory. Ready for some inventory, guys. <laughs> some little knees bent. I like it. It's good. Athletic. Larger ships will have more inventory and smaller ships will have less inventory. And this is simulating all of the lockers and all the physical storage that you would have had on those ships. The interface allows you to drag and drop from Why? location to vehicle. So you'll be able to... The, the drag and the drop targets are really what bug the, physical... the fact that they overlap each other. And smaller ships Why do they have overlap inventory. each other? And this is I, really, simulating I mean, I'm assuming that's got to be just phys- something that they haven't ironed out yet. Because that would, that's just going to be incredibly confusing. That That's probably something that hasn't been ironed out. But also, storage that you would have when had they drag into ships. the middle of the body the here... See, the target's in the chest, but it looks like it's actually for... It's, it's, it's a weapon, so I'm guessing the target is on the back, but it's highlighting the arms. It's so I'm not drag sure and drop it's far why location that happens. To vehicle, it's probably so you'll be able glitches. to move items between locations. But I, I, need, I want this to be a good system in order to really be convinced by it, you know? Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick drag and drop as my first functionality. In fact, I hope they build in other things, like being able to double-click to equip something quickly if it's obviously the only thing that's going to go there or um, just being able to categorize things a little bit better than we're seeing here. But drag and drop is okay, but I feel like it's got to be kind of polished to, to, to sell it, you know? I hope this functionally is, is pretty quick and easy. Next inventory scale down is external inventory, and that's any inventory container that you interact with that's basically in a box. It can be in a ship or it can be a crate out in the world, or it can be a loot box, it can be anything. It could mm. even so they're gonna have little like preset. It's basically in a box. Third person screens whenever you access an inventory. Is this a? Mm, I it don't can know. be in a ship, or it can be a crate out in the world, or it can be a loot box. It can be anything. It could even be the corpses that you leave. The hell! I can see some because looting. One. The amount of flesh and bones that they leave behind uh, is something you can interact with and start rummaging around inside. It's an interface that allows you to drag off uh, armor, weapons, etc. So finally, the smallest form of inventory is personal inventory. And that's anything that I'm has an inventory think about container attached this. to it that you can wear. So whether that's trousers and jacket, there'll be a corresponding UI container for your jacket pockets, for your trouser pockets, etc. Uh, they got to do something um, with the utility belt thing. suits, that's core armor, uh, that's leg armor. And backpacks now are separated from cores, so you can choose which armor you prefer based on the choices that you want, and you'll be able to associate a different backpack to the armor. Light goes with light, medium can have medium and light, and heavy can have heavy, medium and light. I mean, if I have to watch my character from third can person while I'm doing this, I really hope they're going to let us rotate the camera, or else how are we supposed to know what the backpack even looks like? Also, is that a little like... So you can choose which armor you prefer backpack. based on... The- right? A little like, almost like a hiking backpack. What is that? The, the sinkhole backpack. A medium. Stop looking all your loot by hand. The sinkhole backpack gives you plenty of space to store everything you need while leaving your hands free for whatever mischief you have in mind. Has 59,374 nano SCU? That na- that's nano, right? I think that's a nano. Why? Why? Why is that the? Is that what fifty nine SCU? I don't actually know. That was a dumb guess. But cool, new backpack. The choices that you want, and you'll be able to associate a different backpack to the armor. Light goes with light. Medium can have medium and light, and heavy can have heavy, medium and light. Makes sense. Although it'd be cool if they could let us put like a medium or a heavy backpack on light armor, and that just decreases the the effectiveness of the armor and the walk speed and stuff like that or something. So with all these different types of inventories, uh, different sizes and whatnot, that brings us to asking, how do you track where everything is? How do I know where I've left that bag of uh, ammo? That brings us to Knickknacks, which is a Here we go. app that Asset we're Manager. alongside inventory. Please be You're good. To load up Knickknacks, look at it, and at any moment, get a real-time update of all of the items that you have. So you want to know where that 
P6LR is. And you're like, oh, where did I leave it? Oh, I left it. Why don't oh, we have shit. collapsible menus There's in this game? Port Olisar. Oh, cool. I, I can go and get that. Or collapsible lists, rather. As with rather. many other features to be released with Star Citizen, there's more to come. Uh, we'll continue to improve it and work on it and uh, flush out additional functionality. Yeah, I mean, they could bring it in. I just really hope we get, like, collapsible lists so we could just there's a lot more things dig into to it instead of opening a new remember, screen every time. Uh, and to coordinate over, I think we're moving towards what the game is intending to be. It's they very give you that little easy. hand animation. I think we're when moving you... towards what the game <laughs> is intending to be. Like you're pumping it up it's with It's very air. easy <laughs> as a game designers or uh, game developers to focus on individual mechanics and say, oh, this mechanic does this and this mechanic does this. But what my job is and, and what I'm trying to help deliver and, you know, is to deliver Chris Roberts' vision. And that vision is this Star Citizen experience that everybody loves and, and wants to play and, and everybody is working towards. An inventory and healing are, are huge ways uh, are, are moving towards that goal. And the biggest thing that you'll notice is that they're going to change how you play the game. Yeah. So what did we learn this week? That's the biggest thing. I think there's a lot of pushback on these features. Uh, I think it, it, honestly it's coming more from people who are a little bit newer and didn't know this was stuff that was going to happen. But also people who are, are saying it's happening too early. And I think I think at any point that they put this into the game, it would it was going to feel too early to a certain extent. And I understand that some people feel that the inventory and the sense that you can lose that inventory is it shouldn't be in the game yet because of glitches and stuff. I also feel like this is literally going to shift the way that Star Citizen is played and and perceived. And that's kind of like that can be good and bad. So it could be a turn in the wrong direction, a turn in the right direction. But I think it is interesting that we're going to see an actual shift in the way people play the game. We haven't seen that very much. We've seen that the, the biggest one, obviously, we saw was 2.6 to 3.0. Everybody kind of got used to the, to the chance of going down to moons and landing places and actually having more space to play. Now we are going to have to shift to think about dying and playing the game as more of a uh, okay, I actually have to think about this now, right? It's no longer a playground. It's now got a couple couple rules. And it's not a big, it's not like big, in my opinion. I think this is still fairly light. I wonder how quickly they're going to try and ramp this stuff up. But it doesn't feel, doesn't feel like it's too big too fast. But we'll see. We still don't, this didn't really tell us everything we need to know about the inventory system. So we're definitely going to have to discover some stuff in the patch itself obviously that's how it should work and probably in their spectrum posts but this all does look really good to me i'm not a big fan of the drag and drop or really the way they're, they're displaying it overall but you know I, I don't i don't like everything that has to do with this game i like the direction it's going in and the functionality maybe not the specifics but you know what i'm here for the game not for the feature so until next time this has been a uh, reaction of me and hopefully you've reacted to that and uh, I hope you enjoy these videos because I don't know what I'm doing. But have a good one, everybody. I'll see you next week. And uh, make sure to check out the next video coming out tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. It'll be, it'll kind of have a little bit to do with this. Anyways, peace.